Okay, so what we need to do is sweep in the toe ups in here, okay? Can you help me sweep this all out of here, all the dirt and leaves? And put some rock in. And then we'll add some nails and then hay bales. Straw bales. Okay? Can you help me? Yeah. Okay, thank you. That only do it to today? Yes. Just over 100 bales in just under an hour and we're all finished up for the night. Hey guys, so we're pretty excited. We have our straw bales, about half of them, in our house, just not in the walls. Right. And we are going to start putting them into the walls. Yeah. Yeah, uh, this is going to be a learn as we go process. Um, it's our first time. So bear with us. Take what you need to from here. No, we'll try to explain the concept of everything. See where we're going. Show you guys how it's should go. Yeah, this is how we're going to do it. So we're going to get a video of this. All right, see you guys. So one thing we realized we did is we think we made our toe ups too narrow. Um, we made them one inch smaller than what our bale width is because we thought that's what we read. But now we're reading that it should have been an inch wider than what our bales are. For whatever reason, we don't really know that, I guess. We're just gonna see how it goes. Hopefully it'll still work out for us, it will. <laughs> we'll make it work. So in our toe ups, we cleaned them all out, vacuumed them good, and then we added our rock um, some people do use like the foam and cut it to fit inside. Um, we're just going with the rock since we were able to get some free from a friend. Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> and now we're just adding our 20 penny nails. They're every three to four inches staggered along. They're going to be on both sides on our four by fours here. That's and to lock the bail in. Keep it from moving around. Yep. So that's what keeps the bail in place. thing about straw bales, obviously you don't want to use combustion engines, spark anything that, that creates anything. So right here we got an electric chainsaw, thank you dad. Um, we'll see how it goes. They say that you want to like auger it out, scoop out the straw, instead of just try to cut in there and out, otherwise you gotta have a hard time. Also, um, if you can do it with a chain guard gone, that's good, that way it doesn't clog up is easier you can get in there and clean up. Um, also if it's guarded, uh, it could create friction, heat, 
and heat the round straw at the moment is not a good thing. Either. So let's see how it goes. You ready to set the first bail? Yeah, you do it. One bail down, we already realized our tope probably should have been wider. We always question that from the get-go, but it is what it is now. Just about every single bail that gets put in the house does need to be notched. Now that we are on our third stack of bales, it's good to use a squash block or some cord strap to really cinch down every three courses. So we got one toenail in there, then we come to the other side. We're on to our second day of putting bales on our walls. We have just a few hours again before the sun goes down. Our little girl's gonna go along and stuff some loose straw into any holes that there might be. I'm going to add a nailing backer from this window since it needs it.
our 20 penny nails onto our toe ups for us. So now that we got all our squash blocks up on top of this thread row, I'm going to take some flakes out of this bale sitting up there and lay them down. Even it out. This is called the Miller's Knot. With our right hand, we bring this string over, fold it over our hand. Left hand comes down. And we just twist it. Then we grab with our middle finger the string that was on the left side, bring it over, and over again. And then just thread it through this loop right here, and make a loop. Just try to kind of. And the one that's in your right hand, kind of pull it down and just tighten it up. This helps to bring the knot all the way up to the top of the bale. That way when you're ready to really tighten it, just pull it as tight as you can get it. There we go. There. So that's our bale the string that we just tied. And this is the previous one. That was from the baler. seen that. Are you going to take a bath when we get home, Onyx? I did. You're clean? Yeah? I think you need a bath. <laughs> did the dirt clean you off? <laughs> right, so like we said the other day, we realized our toe ups were too small for what we actually needed them. They should have been an inch wider than what our bales are. And we unfortunately realized after we got this wall of bales up that we definitely need to add more with them. So we are adding two by fours all the way through our whole house, screwing them in, nailing them in. And then we also need to move all our nailers up top so that they line up with our bottom. of our box beans just to stay ahead, ahead of the game there with the bales come in. So I have this one you can you know, maybe see I have it stuffed plump full with some straw up there and our OSB. These are just scraps that I put on. So they happen to be in two sections.
And when it hits like that, you know you're getting closer. So we have to get our last bale up there, squeeze it in tight. We also have some loose straw kind of up there to even things out from that last squash block. Not sure how this is going to work, but we're gonna give it a whirl. Some people go to the gym work to work out, other people do crazy things like we do. Are we the only people that do these things? <laughs> yeah, maybe they'll see our videos and it will inspire them to build their own straw bale house. Two down, quite a few more to go.